<clears throat> Morning YouTube. Let me start with a prayer. Our Mother, Father, God in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and help us to forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. So be it. So when you say a prayer, the most important bits, who are you saying it to? Mother, Father, God in heaven. Okay, No mistake who that is. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. That, the line that does it for me. And then, so be it, is like, right? You said your prayer, you put your faith in God. Now whatever happens, whatever happens to you that day or night, that's God's will and you'll go with it. So, it's a... Uh, a, sh a showing of faith, so be it, bring it on, let's go, um, I'm ready, I'm ready to do what God wants me to do. So, my sort of guide to living day to day is um, summed up in two words, truth and love. So first of all, truth, um, it's like the foundations really, you need to get your truth set right because we've been far from the truth uh, in this world for a long time. Um, of course there are many aspects of truth in the terms of what's the truth about this table, what's the truth of what I did today and all sorts of things. But the most important truths are what you are what God is and what the universe is and there's no better place to go and get the truth than from Divine Truth channel on YouTube with AJ Miller um, probably if you're looking for just truth at the moment then just go to some of the old videos um, one's called Secrets of the Universe very good but loads of loads of good ones and um, yeah so, and once you get truth and you've, you've, you've taken it on, you, you know, if hearing some truth has puzzled you, take it on, you think, well, you know, could this be true? And you sort of, you, you play it out and you start to see the world differently with the new truth. And, and, that, and it makes you feel good when you're in truth. Um, there is also a little bit which is hard and taking on a new truth makes you then realise oh, I have actually been doing it wrong <laughs> for a large portion and then so that sort of might create a, a bad feeling um, but, but ride through it because it's temporary it's just kind of adjustment and you'll feel better afterwards and you know this is eternal work you're doing here this is like stuff that's going to benefit forever and the opposite is true if you don't deal with it <laughs> it's no brainer really isn't it so you're in truth you feel good and you're in truth you're feeling good and you're more likely to be loving aren't you so then we come back to the next one. So truth and love, right? If you're forcing yourself to be loving, kind to someone, that's going to wear you out. You're going to find it tiring. So don't do that. Um, just be, again, true to yourself. <laughs> Say what you feel, and you'll feel better for it. You know that sort of feeling in the pit here? You see, my soul is here. It's, 
my I am my soul, so I am always here. It's just my soul exists on a different dimension, as all our souls do, and that's where God is. Um, so, th although that's a different dimension, it's still here. If I was to sit here and meditate and feel my soul, I'm here. I'm always here. I can't not be here, right? The rest of the stuff which is illusory. So you start to be a bit more aware of your own soul and the feelings that you get. And obviously if you get bad feelings in your soul, you're going to want to deny that. I don't want to deny that. So you'll suppress it by eating food or, or something like that. But um, being in truth, it will help you be more loving and then and then practice practice love in a sense um, and you could start with yourself or, or God <laughs> our mother and father who is there to show us all we need to know <laughs> and guide us along the path of progression to happier and more loving spheres I mean, if you're wondering about loving spheres, just, just take a look at a young child. Would you not like to have that energy and happiness? Especially being in control of your life, not being told what to do as many children are. You know, that would be good, right? And it's possible if you recognize that most of your life you've been going downhill. And if you start to take on some of this advice, and you could start going uphill. And it would be the best thing you could ever have. And you don't need to worry about money or anything like that, because God will care for you. I mean, there is this thing that says, you know, God helps those who help themselves. Which, I guess, you know... God isn't going to drag you up the path. You need to get up and you need to walk the path. Um, so yeah, practice loving. L love yourself. It's you could you could love a cup as you pick it up and drink. You, with your fingers, it you can you can love this cup, and with your lips. I mean, that isn't how I drink a cup of tea every day, I've got to admit, half the time I'll gulp it down because it's nearly going cold. See how you can practice loving. And that's, in the sense, loving a bit of the universe, isn't it? Which is made with God's love. <laughs> love is such a big subject. It's huge. It's, um... There isn't a word to describe. Um, love, loving God, loving the universe, love the grass, the animals, because all the living things are a, a little piece of God. All animals have God's personality. They're often changed, you know, pets and stuff, by their owners. Um, they reflect their kind of... They start to reflect their owners. But anyway, so, and then, you know, love other people. Love your neighbour, even if it's hard. And if, if you don't particularly like them, and even if they did something the other day which annoys you, it's still good to send them love. And to find it easier to love them, just put yourself in their shoes. I mean, you might, might not know their life history, but... You can just, you could imagine what it might have been to make them kind of act the way they do. And then it's easier to love them. So that, in the same way for loving your enemy. Um, yeah. And you'll start to, and when you start to feel truth, it's it's great because you can, you know, not... and not get upset about sort of intellectual sort of things and you can just kind of feel the truth and go with it. Okay. 
I think I'm rambling now, so that's that for now. Okay, bye.